Markar is spelled secondary pink shirt day. This is Go Island. I'm Mary Ruth Harris. You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV's Channel 4. There are some very interesting programs that they have here at Markart Isfeld Secondary all around anti-bullying, and you're going to hear from not only a teacher, but one of the students involved. And coming up, a little bit of everything, but we're going to start right here in the Comox Valley. I'm Mary Ruth Harris. You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV's Channel 4. We're on location at Mark R. Isfeld School, named for Master Corporal Mark R. Isfeld, who was killed during a mine clearing operation in Croatia, June 21st, 1994. Now coming up next, an interview all about Pink Shirt Day and everything that they do here at the school. But first, this from Campbell River. I'm Mary Ruth Harris. Joining me now is Karma Taiji, who is an English teacher here at Marcus Feld. Now, Karma, before we came on, you were explaining what the GSA is. So tell us about that. Yeah, so the GSA is the, um, a gay straight alliance. And okay. basically, it's a safe place for anyone along a gender identity spectrum or sexual orientation spectrum to meet and talk about um, needs in the school, uh, creating a safe place for all students, um, and just uh, talk about anything in particular. So it's creating a place for them where they may not have that safety or feel comfortable talking about it at home yet, and they can come to this group and share what's going on for them. Yeah, and feelings, feel. emotions, okay. and it's not just for the group of students who meet there. In fact, uh, we feel the vibrations throughout the school. It's really a social justice issue, and okay. it's about everybody feeling safe, um, and also just really letting students know that teachers, um, administration staff, everyone is on board for creating a community, and that community cre includes people of all um, gender identities and sexual orientations. Okay, and what's the feedback been from the students with, with regards to being able to participate in the group? Well, I have to say first of all that this is a student-run group. Oh, okay. I'm only there to, to um, support them okay. and to show them that there are allies among the staff. Mm -hmm. um, but it was started by peer leaders and it, it goes to show, I think, just how supportive and accepting our school is okay. in terms of um, no matter who you are and, and where you fall on a spectrum or a rainbow, right. as we call it yeah. sometimes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, so the, the feedback has been excellent. There are people who say, you know, we've never been able to talk about these kind of things before. We've never had a space. Um, we've never had a teacher listen to us or integrate that into their teaching. Mm -hmm. um, it's been so positive. And okay. actually, one of the interesting things that I found out is there was um, a study done, I think it was two years ago, and it showed that a school with a GSA that is very, very entrenched in the culture mm -hmm. um, impacts the entire school culture. So oh. that's not just okay. students who identify with being gay, transgendered, okay. um, bisexual, anywhere along the spectrum. Okay. But it's straight students, it's staff, um, right. and it's students' behavior, it's their okay. feeling of safety, and it impacts everybody. So it's a wow. very, very important part of our school culture here. All right, well that sounds really incredible, and I'm sure that there are people listening that went, wow, I really wish there was an organization like that established in my school 10 years ago, 20 years ago, 30 years ago. Well, so. we have a really accepting district here. Okay. Um, in fact, it's one of the first districts in BC to create um, okay. what's called a SOGI policy, which oh, is okay. sexual orientation, gender identity uh, policy. So okay. it's something that we're really proud of and okay. um, all teachers are um, exposed to that policy right. and, and understand that it's part of our job to make students feel um, welcome and safe, mm -hmm. okay. but also to integrate that sort of social justice issues into right. our teaching. Okay. And I think it really, really uh, connects with Pink Shirt Day. 
So it's not just the one day of the year, right. but it's all year round. Right. Okay. Um, it's part of who we are. It's part of um, what we want students to know. Um, but it's interesting because uh, Pink Shirt Day started with a boy mm -hmm. wearing a pink shirt right. and being teased for what we associate pink being yes. very feminine. Yes. And um, the support that came back with that, and I think it really connects to our club and what we're trying to do at the school, but okay. within the district as well. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time today and explaining that. That is really incredible. Um, we are going to take a short break, but we'll be right back. Thank you. I'm Mary Ruth Harris. You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV's Channel 4. We are with Grant Woods here at Marcus Feld School, who is one of the peer helpers. Now, Grant, how did you get involved in being a peer helper? Well, my TA teacher um, is the school counselor, so she recommended me for the program, and I, uh, I just wanted to be involved in the program, so I, uh, I just signed up, and we went through some training and stuff. And what did you find the advantage to be? Um, well, I, I, you know, it makes you feel good, and it's, it's nice to give back to, you know, your fellow students, like, whenever they have some problems or anything, like, it's good to, uh, it's good to just, it just makes you feel good, pretty much. Now, what are some of the challenges that you're finding amongst some of the students? Like, what are some of the challenges they're facing on a daily basis? Well, you know, it, it varies, but, uh, everyone's a bit different, but it just, it's just kind of nice to kind of see the world from someone else's eyes and just give, a, give some help to the people that need it. So mm -hmm. it just makes the school kind of feel like a more accepting and uh, you know, a safe place for everyone. Now, anti-bullying has one special day of the year, and it's this coming Wednesday, where everybody wears pink to acknowledge the fact that they are in favor of anti-bullying. Do you think that that spreads through the year or do you think that everybody wears pink for one day and then the shirts come off and they forget about everything they learned? No, uh, Isfeld is a really accepting school. Like we, we, we aren't very hostile at all, to be honest with you. And um, okay. I think everyone at the whole school kind of wants to feel like a family, like have a family environment. So I don't, I don't okay. think, uh, I think our whole mindset is, is anti-bullying throughout the year. And the one day is kind of just a big correlation of, you know, all that all that uh, you know, anti-bullying stuff. So it's almost like a celebration yes. for what you do in the other 364 yeah. days. Okay, and what do you think the advantage is for the students that you're helping? Uh, you know, I just, we just want to make sure they feel safe in, in the school environment and you know, get the best education possible because you can't really learn unless you, unless you feel safe in that environment, right? So you just, right. we're just really trying to you know, be friends with them and just help them through like, the rough times in their life because you know, being a kid is obviously really hard for like, a lot of people. It is. All right. Well, Grant, thank you so much for your time today. Really appreciate it. We're going to take a short break. We'll be right back. Here at Markar Isfeld Secondary, I am now joined by Principal Jeff Taylor. Now, Jeff, I understand that the senior boys basketball team is undertaking a unique approach to the anti-bullying? Yes, we want our students to work with other students. We know that our students are heavily influenced by their older peers and our senior boys basketball team is a, is a prominent place in our school community. So they are going to be making uh, brief video clips about how they feel about uh, bullying and, and how they want people to stand up to it and, and speak up for themselves, advocate for themselves and advocate for other students to keep this from our school. And that's going to air, you've got TVs all through the hallways, yeah. right? So this could air? It will be through. airing over through the TVs, yeah, that's right. <laughs> and the video could air, like the basketball players, they're going to be, you're going to package it together and put yeah. that out so that students can watch. And That's the intent, yeah. We're okay. not going to bring everybody okay. around a screen to watch all at once, but it'll just air throughout the week. Excellent. Yeah. Well, that's really cool. Now, through the week, you also have a very interesting event that you are hosting here at Isfeld. So mm -hmm. let's talk about that. It's the gratitude event. We do it every year. Gratitude is, is uh, the event that we run where our graduates do something to give back to the community before they leave the school. We feel it's really important that uh, our graduates do something in the, way, in the way of community service before they leave the school. It's far more likely they'll continue to serve the community after they graduate if they've done that. It's also a way to bring them together 
as a grad class. Okay. This is the most ambitious gratitude event we've ever done. It's going to be run over five days of the week. It's uh, taking a five-ton trailer and trying to fill it with food wow. to uh, support the community food bank. Because it is the end of February, and of course, the shelves pretty much are bare right they around are. the province. Yeah, that's right. I mean, they have a huge drive over Christmas time. They fill right. up, and it, it depletes over time. By the end of February, they're short on a number of things. So, okay. Yeah. And so you're inviting the community to come down and participate in that? Yeah, okay. a, a couple of ways. They can come here to the school and donate food uh, to fill our trailer with. There will be grads out there staffing okay. the, uh, the trailer. But there will also be an opportunity to donate food at our grocery stores that are adjacent to Isfeld. Okay. And uh, hopefully the, you'll see the our grads out there in their Isfeld jerseys and, and okay. you'll be inclined to drop off some groceries so we can put that in the So trailer. quality foods, thrifties? Superstore. Yeah. Superstore. Okay, great. Well, that is super. Thank you so much for wrapping all this up for us. Yeah. It's been great. Now, we are going to have a look at this story, but we'll be right back. I'm Mary Ruth Harris. You've been watching Go Island on Shaw TV's Channel 4. We're on location in the Comox Valley at Markar Isfeld Secondary. We have had some fantastic interviews all about what they are doing to address bullying in the school. And we also learned about a program that they're going to have running all week long to help the local food bank. And it is their gratitude event put on by the grads that are leaving in June. It's pretty fantastic. So if you have an extra bag of food that you would like to donate, drop it off at Thrifties or Quality Foods up here on Lurwick or Superstore or even right here at the school. And they have a five ton trailer that they need to fill. So they need a little bit of help. So coming up right now, we're gonna have a look at this, but we'll be right back. Thanks so much for watching Go Island today. I'm Mary Ruth Harris. We've been on location at Markar Isfeld Secondary, where we have learned all about some pretty amazing programs against bullying here that have been established at the school. Really incredible stuff. Now, all week long, they are also running a gratitude event, and it's run by the grads who will be graduating in June, and it's raising food for the food bank, because of course, at this time of year, the food bank shelves are a little bare. So they've arranged for a five ton trailer right in front of the school and you can bring your food here or any of the local grocery stores and the grads were gonna be collecting it and filling that five ton trailer all week long. So please get together with the grads and help the community at large. Now with regards to Pink Shirt Day on Wednesday, please check out all of our social media, either Twitter or Facebook, and all of the information is there about a contest, and you could win two tickets to Los Angeles to the Teen Awards, I believe. So check out for details there on our Facebook or Twitter, and you can make your pink shirt promise, and have a great week, and we'll see you on Wednesday.